Hi, this is Ryan Shore with Big Sky Scientific. A lot of people ask me questions about the different kinds of industrial hemp and its various uses. So I'm going to talk a little bit about those today. With industrial hemp, you have products that are used for seed, protein powders, cannabinoids, rope and fiber, and I'm gonna go into the various differences. It caused a lot of confusion in industrial hemp because a lot of people consider industrial hemp to just be a tall, stocky hemp variant that people used to make rope and sails and paper out of. With industrial hemp, there's three primary products. You have fiber, seed oil, and cannabinoids. So first we'll talk a little bit about fiber. So when we're talking about hemp for fiber, we're often talking about strains that are made to grow long, thick stalk. And stalk is really what they're harvesting. With that stalk, you have two different parts. You have the stalk that is corded, and so chunks of it come out, and then those long fibers. So the cord, which is brought out with a decorticator, that can be used to create biofuels and, and different fibers. Um, the, uh, the long fibers then can be used for ropes and fabrics, and they're very soft. They're, they also have antibacterial properties. So that is a long, tall hemp plant. The difference between that and hemp that's grown for seed is you have seed plants which grow very thick flowers, but oftentimes seed crops are planted like wheat. So instead of plants being spread out so they have room to develop, they actually are grown as close as possible. And the reason that they grow them so close is they want them to shoot up and grow just a flower on top. And they let those fields completely pollinate so they get as much seed as possible. And then they run through with a swather or different harvesting implements to basically take and break loose all those seeds and they collect those seeds. And acids, uh, fatty acids, like all your different omegas, and it can be used much like olive oil. Now you'll see a lot of hemp oil for sale on Amazon and grocery stores. Most of it's actually imported from Canada, but I think that's soon to change. The hemp oil is, however, very different than CBD oil. And that's important to consider because you may find hemp oil for a very, very low price on Amazon. And it's pretty common that people who are new to CBD will actually try hemp oil first, um, thinking that they just got a, a, a really great deal. Um, but the hemp oil itself is, is less expensive to make and it's, it's more used just like olive oil is. Actually has a good nutty flavor. Once those seeds are crushed, what's left is a kind of a cake, and that's what hemp proteins um, are made from. So if you get that, those hemp-based protein powders, which actually have all of the essential amino acids, um, those hemp proteins are made from the crushed seed with the oil removed. In Canada, they're also producing what they've coined hemp hearts. So that is a hemp seed which has been deshelled and that product is used and sold all over the world to be used in salads. Again, hemp has a nutty flavor. People are using it in various energy bars, um, and it's just a, a delicious seed. So it works as a replacement. Anything you'd use for sunflower seeds, you could use for hemp seeds. Now, so far I've covered the fiber varieties, I've covered the seed crop, and now I'm going to talk about the cannabinoid crop. A cannabinoid crop is uh, what we're growing here. So these are mother plants meant to grow up to produce cannabinoids. In that case, we're going to use female plants and we're going to grow up those female plants to have large, rich, dense flower. And that flower removed of seed if possible, as little seed as possible or none, that, that flower is extracted for its oil, and its oil develops very high amounts of CBD, CBN, CBG, and, and all of those other cannabinoids that we'll be extracting. 
one of the points of confusion is this form of industrial hemp that we grow looks very similar to its other counterpart. So it's, although it is very different than marijuana, it has a similar look. When harvested, it can look very similar. And if you're up to date on our legal cases um, and our landmark uh, legal case, um, you know, then you'll know that this can be a point of confusion for highway patrol officers um, who are stuck with a difficult task of determining is, you know, are these two